Hi everybody and welcome back to some of our training. This um, is going to be for fundraising and there's also just a few extra things in there that might be helpful for you. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off today by showing you guys a video here of the city. Um, as you can see, the roads are pretty narrow in Iswell and um, buildings are three to four stories high, not huge buildings. Um, and um, if you watch as we drive along, you'll notice that there are lots of switchbacks on the road. You'll see the roads kind of go up. Um, that's because the city is built completely on a hill. Um, this was an early morning, so all the storefronts there are all closed. Um, but this just gives you a little bit of an idea of what the city looks like, people hauling their wares to the market, unloading trucks. Um, you can kind of see some of the store signs and the power lines, um, how they're kind of a mess. That's my daughter, Kaylin. Um, we're riding in the car, and uh, these are the normal vehicles that we normally travel around in. So as you can see, the kids just love to sing um, and have lots of energy and um, this is a song that they know very well and we'll actually probably sing this one with them also. So on to our main topic for today, fundraising. Um, these are the five areas that we're going to cover. Um, deposits and deadlines, um, where to give, important things to know about giving writing support letters, and other ways to fundraise. Deposits and deadlines. So we have a $250 deposit due as soon as possible. Um, this is just due whenever you are able to pay it or fundraise it. Um, we also need you to sign your trip waivers and mission trip contracts. And those should have arrived um, with your acceptance, um, your mission trip acceptance, and um, I will go ahead and include those in on an email to you in case you um, have misplaced that. Um, but we need those signed and returned as soon as possible. And then um, no later than April 15th do we need the airfare due. Um, and we really won't know what that amount will be until um, we're ready to purchase for you, but I would say to go ahead and estimate between 1600 and 1700 for airfare in the summer. Um, now one thing to keep in mind is that the earlier you get the airfare in, the earlier we'll be able to purchase your tickets and the most likely we'll be able to get you the best prices. So you do have an advantage to not waiting until the last minute on April 15th to get that money in. Um, and then on June 15th, the, um, the balance is due of 2100. Um, so those are your deposits and um, deadlines. Where to give. Um, you have a couple different options of ways to either give yourself towards your trip or to turn in funds um, from other people. You can give online at www.orphanoutreach.org um, or you can mail anything in to the Orphan Outreach Headquarters. Uh, their address is 2001 West Plano Parkway, Suite 3700, Plano, Texas, 
75075. All checks do need to be payable to Orphan Outreach. One thing to keep in mind is that if you um, give uh, checks in the mail that you do want to make sure that there is a letter um, stating exactly where those funds need to go. You need um, our trip code which is IN14-0700. IDV and um, and then make sure you also include your name so that they know which trip participant it is for. If you give online uh, there's a really easy way to go ahead and choose the appropriate trip and to put a comment in of exactly which participant it is for. Important things to know about giving. Um, so there is an advantage uh, if you're going to give online to using a debit card or an automatic EFT check. If you use either of those, there are no fees applied. Orphan Outreach is charged a fee if we have a credit card processed, and so those fees will be um, deducted from your giving. So um, all of those rules are online. If you go online and look at the giving page, you'll see uh, the, the rules there. Um, so I highly encourage you to use debit cards or EFT checks online if that's the route that you'd like to give. Um, you also obviously can mail checks in, um, which is just fine. Payments um, are posted to your accounts on Fridays. So if you've mailed something in or given online and you don't see it show up on your account when you log in, um, just know that everything is updated on Fridays. And if you ever have any questions or concerns about the giving, um, you can always shoot me an email and I can help you resolve your issue very quickly. Um, for tax deductibility requirements, we want to make sure that the checks are made well, payable to Orphan Outreach. Um, and then Orphan Outreach will send out the tax deductibility letters to your sponsors directly. Support letters. Um, some things to include um, on your support letters are where you're going. Uh, it's just maybe some facts about India and Eyeswall and children with AIDS. You can easily get uh, all of that kind of information online. You really want to tell a personal story. You want people to hear your heart um, and why you're going on this trip, why it's important to you, um, and you know, how has God called you to this, um, to this journey? You can uh, talk about the children of Eyeswall, and if you need more information, you can send me anything, that, any information that you would like. I can give you access to pictures and photos of these kids um, to include in with your letters. Um, it's really good for them to, for your supporters to hear how much you have to raise, what your deadlines are, um, and the most important part is for them to have a very clear picture of how they can give to you. Um, what, you know, the website, um, who to make the checks payable to, you're going to want the checks to come back to you, so you, it's always great to send a uh, self-addressed envelope in there for them to send a check back to you, um, and then you can, when you get the checks in the mail, then you can collect them and forward them on to Orphan Outreach. Um, who to send them to. I always um, encourage people to think very broadly of who um, would support them. We tend to um, decide on our own who we think would support and who wouldn't. And I have been highly surprised over the years that the people who chose to support me weren't necessarily the people who I expected to. Um, sometimes they're my non-believing friends um, or people who I thought, oh, they just don't have the funds to support me. Um, and sometimes these are some of my biggest supporters. And so I've really learned over the years to not put God in a box, um, to let him make the decision of who's going to be my supporters and not. And in reality, it's really great for those all of those people who you know and you're uh, circle of family and friends to know what you're doing. So it's a great way just to communicate that to them and just let them make the decision of whether they're going to support you or not. Um, I When I write support letters, I tend to send out between 75 and 100. Um, so that gives you kind of a picture of, um, you know, how 
um, how many people I tend to send letters to, when to send them, I would say right now. Um, if you haven't started writing your letter, I would do that right away. I would start collecting your supplies for your envelopes and your stamps, and I would get those letters out right away because uh, as soon as we have enough money to purchase your airfare, we will do so immediately so that we can get the best prices for you. Um, and then you always, it's always important to follow up with your supporters. Um, we all get inundated with a lot of information and sometimes people don't respond back to you and it's not because they don't want to support you, but it's kind of they just forgot. So follow up letters are really good for that. Um, really good to just say, you know, hey, you know, here's my next deposit deadline. This is how much I have to left to raise. You know, will you please be praying for me. Um, and that's just a really great way to stay connected with your supporters keep people praying for you. You can do that via email or real letters. Um, I really um, hesitate Facebook as a way to raise support. Um, it's just a little too impersonal and I haven't really seen many people have much success in raising a lot of money just from uh, Facebook statuses. Some other fundraising ideas. Um, support letter writing is going to be your number one um, biggest way to raise support but there are other ways you can have support dinners where you um, you know invite people to a dinner and they pay to come uh, you know you fi fix them a very basic like spaghetti dinner or something like that you tell them about what you're going to be doing maybe show some pictures um, but they pay you know twenty five dollars or thirty dollars just to come to dinner um, and that goes directly to um, you and your support. Um, if you live in a state that has can, can and bottle deposits, um, you can go around the neighborhoods and collect cans and bottles. My kids make um, at least $100 each day that they've done this. Um, it takes work and um, some effort, but it's definitely doable. Movie nights. Um, we've had um, nights where we've used our church's space and ran a movie and gotten concessions and invited the families of our church to come and watch a movie and purchase concessions and those nights can um, raise between three and four hundred dollars uh, many restaurants have fundraisers where you can earn a certain percentage of profits um, those are good to look into um, babysitting um, especially if people know that you are babysitting for a purpose to raise funds you usually um, pay you a little bit better um, odd jobs um, you know a lot of people um, have earned some really good money just doing odd jobs and I have be specific on there um, because I've seen people do it two ways and one is just like throwing a very generic uh, Facebook message out of like hey you know I'm going to India if there's anything I can do just let me know I need to raise money um, but more specific that I've seen people uh, really have successes you know here's what I'm willing to I'm willing to clean houses at this rate to go to India is anybody uh, willing to, to hire me or I'm willing to paint uh, the inside of your house you know one room at this price um, or gardening you know I'm willing to come and give you one day of weeding and planting of plants at this price if you're more specific people are more likely to um, Kind of rally around and say hey yeah I could I could do that and I could really use that service um, so just be very specific I will um, be sending out some samples of some fundraising letters along with this for you to look at um, go ahead and look through them we have very many people on our team who have been through this process already so they are very good um, resources as well as myself so um, this video is just kind of a opportunity to get you rolling to get the ball kind of going for you um, but if you have very specific questions please do not hesitate to let me know